Affinity Photo has the ability to create selections based on luminosity. Here are a couple of examples of how you might use it. So first, to create the selection, we need to move across to the Layers panel. Now on Mac, we can hold down Alt or Option, Command, and left click the thumbnail of the pixel layer we want to create the luminosity selection from. On Windows, you would hold down Control, Alt, and left click the thumbnail. Now, as an example of how we might use this, let's add an adjustment layer. Let's add an HSL adjustment, okay? And so we can see what we're doing, we will go to select and deselect to get rid of the marquee selection. As we can see on the thumbnail here, we have masked the HSL shift adjustment to the luminosity. So we can just increase the saturation shift here. And because we've masked the adjustment to luminosity, we've achieved a much nicer, subtler, graduated increase in saturation to the brighter areas of the image. I can actually just demonstrate what this adjustment would look like if we were affecting all of the color channel data as well. By moving across to the channels panel, right clicking the HSL shift adjustment alpha and choosing fill. Okay, and as we can see, that's quite garish. So let's just undo that and get back to our previous result. Okay, so another technique that we use luminosity masking for is to increase darker areas or brighten up those tones. So let's do this. We will Alt Command click the background pixel layer again. But before moving on, this time we're going to invert the selection by going to select and invert pixel selection. Okay, so now what we can do is add, for example, a curves adjustment. And once again, we'll just deselect so we can see what we're doing. Now, because we've inverted that luminosity selection, we're now affecting the darker tones or the shadow tones. So I can add quite an aggressive ramp here, and just bring this back down, to brighten up the darker areas in the statue here. Okay, once again, I'll just right click the curves adjustment alpha and choose fill. So we can see what that looks like without the luminosity mask. And as you can see, it also brightens up a lot of the sky and the brighter detail. So again, I'll just undo that. And there's our result with the luminosity mask. Now I've shown you all this, but I also want to point your attention to a feature Affinity Photo has called blend ranges, because they give you much more flexibility when it comes to doing things like this. I'll give you a quick demonstration. So I will actually just fill the curves adjustment alpha here. And instead, what I'll do is click this little cog icon to go to the blend options for this layer. Now, in order to emulate the luminosity masking, we want to focus on underlying composition ranges here. And again, all we can do is just, just drag the highlight node down here and instantly we get an effect that is very similar to what we just did with the luminosity mask. We can also uncheck linear and achieve a non-linear control over the blending. So this is what I mean when I said it's much more flexible. And we can take this a step further too. We can change the channel target to blue because our sky is mostly blue and we can just drag this node down. And as you can see here, we can avoid affecting the sky detail. Okay, so I hope you found that helpful. You may also want to look at the selections from layers video, which covers using the modify keys for creating multiple luminosity selections.